Uh, it is an annual event that gathers a lot of people from the community for a very good reason. And they're all at Parkdale Mall this morning. It's Casas for Casa. This morning, our James Ware joins them to talk about how you can get involved and really make a significant event, uh, difference in a child's life. Right, James? Absolutely. In fact, uh, this is one of my favorite events of the year that I get to cover. It's the, the Casas for Casa, and we've got our Casa representatives. We've got our local Union 397 from the fire department, and uh, man, wait till you see theirs, huh? And uh, we've got Judge Kent Walston, and uh, he's done this for a couple of years, and he let us know quickly that he did his by himself uh, with a little bit of help a couple days, but he said, I just can't compete with those firefighters that come together in big masses. There's 12 of them building it. 12 of them, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but what a great cause, I mean, for people that aren't familiar with CASA, just a little bit about what they do. Well, it's court-appointed special advocates, and we are the voice for children that have been neglect neglected and abused that are in the court system. And our goal is to get them into a permanent home and out of foster care. There you go. Very good. So these are on display at Parkdale Mall all week and next Saturday is when you'll do yes. the drawing, a, a week from tomorrow. So people can come out, purchase tickets. They're $2.00. Uh, one ticket. For one ticket and three five. for five. Is that correct. correct? Okay. And then you'll have the drawing next Saturday and you can take home these playhouses. Wow. That's right. We'll have them delivered straight to your driveway. Yeah. What was the theme this year? The theme this year, as it was last year, we're celebrating Jefferson County. Okay. So everything here kind of represents. And let's start with this one. Kevin's on, on uh, showing the, the, I guess, a ship here. Yes. Wow, the, the detail on this, and tell us who built this, because this one's interesting. The LeBlanc unit built this. So uh, the Jefferson prisons. County, that's right, the LeBlanc unit. And this was their first time out. Uh, we've had uh, the GIST unit for several years. They participated with us, and they weren't able to do it this year. And so they recommended me call the LeBlanc unit, and they jumped right on it. Yeah, and there's some real detail on oh, here absolutely. with a fold-down back end absolutely. on it. And, uh, yeah. Absolutely. Now, now, Judge Walston, he... he has the one next to it, Education First. And, That's, right. That's right. Tell us a little about what you've done. Well, it's uh, Education First Credit Union, and uh, we just try to make it as similar as possible. It has a school, like a school theme, schoolhouse theme, and uh, I think it came out pretty good. Yeah, I like the custom windows, too. You had yeah. to go do those and uh, kind of manufacture them yourself. We yeah, manufacture the windows. That's yeah. right. Okay, you got the windmill. This one's part of, uh, everybody knows the windmill down in Nederland. Mm -hmm. Yep, the windmill is done by the Bella, 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 <laughs> Sammy did it. Construction company. Sammy did it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was yeah. just here a moment ago. He was. He was dropping yes. off, putting those last-minute touches he on it. He has built a playhouse for Casa just about every year that we've had these. He's, you know, one of our most faithful builders. Right. A lot of them have been doing that. He, for Judge many years. Walston, That's he, right. Every other year does one. That's right. And then you got one of the Derricks down here on the end. That's right. We've got Spindle Top, uh, Mr. Tom. Cockrell with DRC Construction. He built that one, and uh, it's absolutely wonderful. I think his son kind of inspired him because as he was building it, he would send me pictures with his son's little head sticking out the top of that. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Now let's move around to the front, Kevin. Let's show this fire department here. Uh, where's Where's Gary? You coming around? Come on over here, Gary, because you did. You had a full team working on this, and, and tell us uh, what inspired. This is y'all's first year to do this, and y'all went all out. That's right. Uh, when Eleanor came to us and asked if we do something, uh, I got together with some of our guys at station number three, and uh, probably specifically Tim Mitchell, Mike Perez, and Troy DeRuin. They did the bulk of the work, and we were uh, fortunate that our fire chief actually let them build it at the station. So we went to a bunch of people in the community that were blessed. Uh, Lowe's donated the majority of the lumber. Gulfway Lumber and Winnie donated some stuff. Um, Camarary out of Winnie did us some stuff for us. ABC Supply donated the uh, all the siding that we have out here. Right. Overhead door was kind enough. Look at that. To actually come out there and install a, a, a garage door to you know to make it as realistic nice. as possible. And then we were fortunate enough that we had a bell and that's actually an antique firebox that we have. Uh, and no fire station would be complete without oh, well, a brass that, pole. Yep, so we have there you a, go. a brass pole in, in addition oh, to that wow. airplane desk. And then we have our car. Yeah that uh, we got with the Port of the Firefighters Local 397. And it comes with everything, all the oh, props? Absolutely. All, okay. Absolutely. All the bunker gear comes wow. with it, and, um, it, you know, it's ready to go. I mean, yeah. uh, it's a pretty neat thing, and we've had a lot of people show interest in it, and we hope a lot of people come yeah. out and buy raffle tickets. And right. there might be a challenge. I heard if y'all raise enough money, we'll get into that in our next. Okay, They're kind of yeah. rapping me, but uh, I okay. hear you might build another one if someone can raise enough money right, to do yeah. that. Good so. stuff. Two dollars. Right. Come down here to Park Del Mall, buy those tickets, goes to a great cause with CASA. All right, thanks, James. Yeah, as you mentioned, it looks like a lot of fun for some kids too in the future.